Hey guys, wanted to touch on one more thing that I didn't know. I asked a bunch of people, really, they weren't sure why or or what was going on with early forward brakes. But if you have a big piston and a small piston, big piston goes to the front. And unlike modern stuff, big shoe goes to the front. Big shoe, big piston to the front side, small and small. So that's opposite of what we do nowadays. We might have the same size piston in the bore, but we have a short primary shoe and we have a long secondary shoe. So just keep that in mind. Big piston goes to the front, big shoe goes to the front. And this is the uh, this is the Bendix style, so you can kind of tell because it's got a pin here, a pin here, um, and it takes this shoe, I believe. There's an eccentric, not really an eccentric, but there's a piece in here that allows the shoe to float, right? And then you have the eccentric up here to make the adjustment. Where the front, the front of this car has early Fords, um, and the difference with the early Ford is it has an adjuster down here right here and what i learned is the adjusters the dot and the dot you might have an arrow you might have a dot who knows but they start out pointing together so they're timed you know three o'clock and nine o'clock three o'clock and nine o'clock and then you rotate them down until the shoe starts to touch the drum and then you go up and then you do the top one right um that type of shoe is open in the bottom and it has a weird uh like a triangle on one side and then like a, like kind of an arrowhead. You could triangle like that and then round it in the back side. So uh, that's how you kind of adjust them. Same thing in the front, big shoe, big cup, or the big size of the wheel cylinder in the front, big shoe in the front, small in the back, which kind of makes it hard to adjust the rear because the bottom of the shoe doesn't really contact. The bottom of the shoe here isn't a full shoe because it's a prime or well it's a secondary but it's short like we're used to on a primary so when you're moving it down it doesn't really touch the drum so it's kind of weird anyways um that's it figured i'd give you guys a little insight i had to go all the way back to uh well i went to an early ford store mike had it right he didn't really know why and then uh man i went to some other early places nobody really knew so i had to go to i don't know this is like a 19 30 something manual anyways it was in here somewhere where i read in i learned um well basically it shows you right there so big cup big shoe you can see it's a short shoe there sorry my fingers short shoe on the rear side right drum rotation direction of vehicle and then it shows these as um moving eccentrics so anyways uh the picture says Lockheed 46 and later, but the description um, is early Ford. And you can see the bolt down there in the early Ford picture. So, all right, that's it. Uh, oh, and that wasn't Bendix. That was Lockheed. So that's it. Um, like I said, see you guys at the, uh, in the next event. Um, hope that tip helps you. Oh, subscribe, like, add any comments. That's kind of come in handy. Comments have come in pretty handy because... Other people are having the same problems as we're all having, and it helps to pass that information along as we discuss it. All right, guys, thanks for all the uh, the viewers and everything. I'm finally over a thousand viewers, which is kind of cool. So that's awesome. Maybe I'll do some kind of giveaway for you guys.